Our chairman, Colin Peterson, uh, has indicated uh, as in, in, in our meetings uh, that I've had with him that uh, plans to mark up the 2012 Farm Bill is going to, it's already being done and we'll have a markup as early as the uh, next, next year, as early as the middle of next year, quite frankly, 2011. He also anticipates that there being no new money for the new Farm Bill, uh, which means that we will likely have a flat or possibly lower budgetary baseline than we did in 2008. Uh, and, and many of you understand the reason for that is because our economy, uh, we're on a very slippery slope as far as our economy is concerned. We stabilized, uh, we're still growing at a very small rate, but there are major concerns out there that we might continue to, uh, or could possibly go into a double dipper, I hope not. The uh, issues, specific peanut uh, issues that, uh, as you all know, the marketing loan rate of $355 a ton was continued from the 2002 rate uh, into the 2008 Farm Bill. As a member of the Ag Committee, I recognize that $355 a ton does not represent a true safety net considering the cost of production uh, as we have it today. Regardless of the budget situation for the next Farm Bill, I will be fighting for a higher marketing loan rate for, for the peanuts uh, out there. And Chairman Peterson has also indicated the desire to reduce or even begin to phase out direct payments in the next Farm Bill and move to a, a whole farm revenue base approach. I recognize that uh, everyone in here and throughout the country may not uh, uh, like that, uh, but uh, everybody also recognizes that we're going to have to make some tough decisions and some sacrifices in the years to come. I think people recognize that, but they also want to be treated fairly, and uh, they want to be uh, treated from a level playing field, and that's what I hope we'll be able to do uh, before we get uh, to the 212 final uh, farm bill. Uh, <clears throat> let me also kind of explain something and how I feel, and uh, many of you I've already talked with you about it this morning, and that is we need to clearly identify what uh, portion of the farm bill is going towards supporting our farmers and our agriculture industry. I'm for, uh, in some form or fashion, I may be in the minority, but I'm going to be fighting awfully hard to try to do this, is to clearly establish uh, from the nutritional uh, issues that we have uh, that seems to sometimes come out and control what, what uh, is put in or taken out of our farm bill. I'm going to make sure that whatever happens is that if we can't divide clearly our agriculture is issues from the other issues that get uh, what to 75 to 85 percent of the funding in the farm bill we need to clearly make sure that people understand that all that money in the farm bill is not going to you not going to help uh, our farmers out there in our ag industry we've got to make sure that that's uh, clear out there and I will be over there fighting to make sure that some of those nutritional programs are those other type of programs that are constantly being uh, added to uh, or adjusted <clears throat> and increased or not adjusted or added to at the expense of what uh, is in there for our farmers directly. And I think that's a concern of yours, it's a concern of mine, and I will be at the table trying to make sure that that uh, is heard and that your, your interest is heard.